Ooh, hey, welcome back. Aren't you guys proud? I actually put makeup on today. Oh, do I have both my earrings on? Yes. Okay, so today I'm solo. I had like co-hosts, but they have abandoned me. Is this how Barbara Walters felt? Probably. Was it Barbara Walters that left it for you? No. Anyways, so I'm going to do a movie review of Bad Boys for Life. Is it Bad Boys for Life? Yes, the third Bad Boys installment. Let me start with the pros. I laughed all the way through. When, when it wasn't like emotionally heightened, I was laughing. When I wasn't laughing, I was bored to tears. I'm not sure who wrote the script to this movie, but it was real lackluster. I don't remember it. That's how bad it was. Okay, so let me start with this. It wasn't that it was a bad movie. I just expected more from Will Smith and Martin Lawrence in a movie that has taken almost 20 years to bring back. Does that make sense? Like, what y'all been doing for 20 years? I mean, filming other stuff, but y'all, nobody was in a back room writing a script for 20 years. Y'all been talking about it for the last 15. <sighs> okay. So again, let me let me back up with the positives. I laughed. It was definitely funny. Um, the action was good. There were moments that I was like, okay, I really want to know what's coming up next. But then there were moments like, what? Who, who thought that was okay? My other issue with the movie is that I felt like it was a lot of small cutscenes. There was no continuous flow. Like there wasn't a long, super long scene. No scene. Oops, I have cat hair no scene was drawn out and if it was drawn out there was no dialogue so the first scene in the movie where they're just driving there's a little bit of dialogue but that's it they're just driving i mean they're speeding they're trying to get to a place but even while they're doing it you're like okay i know what's coming like i know where they're going they're not arresting somebody they're speeding for a certain reason and i can already figure out the reason so i did that um or that happened and then there was another part where do they have like long yeah I did all the scenes were really short it was like scene cut scene cut and it almost made me wonder if because Martin Lawrence and Will Smith both had other things going on most likely Will Smith because I don't think Martin Lawrence has been doing a lot of things that they were filming in like random choppy times you know when you're a new actor or new actress and you sign up on a movie set you can just stay but when you're somebody like Will Smith who has like all these other things that you're doing and he also has another movie out right now um the undercover spy or something like that what is with me in names i cannot remember these names but he has another movie out right now that i'm assuming he's also doing um publicity for so i don't i just it wasn't the best movie i saw here is another one of my pet peeves so if you saw bad boys 2 then you remember the scene where marcus and mike meet his daughter's boyfriend in the um oh, what is the ludicrous song and the boy has the braids like y'all know what i'm talking about he also comes back in this movie which is fine but he's in the marine corps which is also fine now there's a scene i'm just gonna give it away there's a scene where they're getting married and he's in complete dress blues and i guess because my ex-husband was in the marine corps i know what rankings are and his ranking is down his sleeve if i'm not correct he is He's either a staff sergeant or a gunnery sergeant. There's no way that this kid who looks, who he would have probably been, if he was 16 or 17 in that movie, and they're saying, give or take 15 years, there's, even if he got him that rank, he still looks like he's 22. Does that make sense? Like, I felt like his ranking was way too high for him and it may be like just a little nitpicky thing that I caught on to but I caught on to that and I was like who who thought that that was okay you mean to tell me you and this girl just had a kid y'all both look like you're 18 but you're a gunnery sergeant in the marine corps no it takes it would take you almost 10 15 years to be gunnery sergeant and again I know I'm saying it was 15 years but he doesn't look like he's been around 10 15 years that means like he only looks like he's 20 
So it doesn't add up. And there's another scene where he's in his um, utilities and his rank, I think, is only like a Lance Corporal. So they wear the rank on their, um, like their lapel. It's not a lapel. I cannot think of what it's called. Anyways, so uh, it was little things like that that just bothered me. Um, the whole reason why the ending fight scene happens is because Mike finds out information about a former lover. So he has to go rescue the product of this relationship. I, it was just, it was a mess. It was a funny mess, if that makes sense. Like, I, again, the parts that I thought were funny, I laughed at. Every other part just kind of... I would rather see the movie Stuber than watch this movie again. There you have it. Um, we're going to go see Birds of Prey on Valentine's Day and then we're also going to go see John and I are going to see 1917 and then I want to go see a movie by myself because I love going to the movies. Um, I used to go all the time it was kind of like my outlet and I miss doing it now that I'm done with school I feel like I have a little bit more time to just focus on me things so yeah that's that. Um, I mean watch the movie if you get a chance to watch that movie theater go support them. I'm glad you know Will Smith and Martin Lawrence are best top top actors you know, obviously we know that Will Smith. I feel like Martin Lawrence kind of fell underneath the, like, the radar. But he's really good. When these men are on screen, they command the screen. They sell it. You can, you understand their bondhood. You feel it. When Marcus says, I love you, and Mike Lowry says, I love you back, you genuinely feel like they love each other off the set as well. Like, they, they're boys, you know. So, that wasn't the issue. None of the acting was bad. I tell the movie itself, the script was not the best. I'm glad it wasn't like a shoot 'em up like Michael Bay style of movie, but after seeing this, I still prefer the second Bad Boys to the first and the last one. That's just my opinion. So, anyways, there you have it. Go watch it. Go support them. Just don't buy it on Blu-ray.